Hey, day one of Bangkok. Taking the stairs down today, starting the day healthy, on my way to the tailors, uh, checking out this place called Jesse and Son Custom Tailors. Hopefully it's good. I'm gonna try to make myself an affordable navy suit. Yeah. See guys, when there's sunlight, things are less scary, isn't it? Spoiler alert anyway, for those of you who watch Deadpool, the end credit scene has him saying that Cable will appear in the next movie. Is the next movie gonna be in Thailand? <laughs> Okay guys, uh, that was a really good experience, uh, the guy was really nice but um, a little bit more pricey than I would have liked but then again, uh, if you find that your tailor allows for bargaining, then maybe the quality is a little suspect, right? So after all, a suit is an investment, I'm planning to get one shirt and one navy suit in the end for about 10,800 baht. That was about 420 sing dollars. And I think that's quite a decent price. And I just need to hope that the quality is good, as he says. I've heard good reviews, so I'm hopeful about it. Tomorrow I'll be back at about 2 to 3 p.m. for a fitting. And it should be done by Friday, latest Saturday morning before I leave. So, good stuff. I'm looking forward to my first ever proper tailored suit. Yeah! Here's a tip for men's style. If you want to get suits, uh, the first suit you should get, hopefully, ideally, is a charcoal grey suit. It can be worn for almost anything. Then you should get a navy suit. But the thing is, because of G2000, which sells pretty affordable retail off-the-rack suits, but the thing is, most of them are black. So a lot of Singaporeans wear black. But the main thing about black is that it's only usually worn for funerals or extremely formal black tie events. Now with all that said, it's time to get back to the holiday. I am looking to go to Khao San Road for a little walk, or maybe quite a big walk, and just take a look around. Hopefully I'll get some good lunch there as well. I'll be visiting a cafe called the Fabulous Dessert Cafe, something like that. Look forward to it, guys. Okay, guys. Now that I have hit you up with the men's style advice, however unsolicited or illegitimate it may sound, <laughs> Considering I'm the traveler that looks like shit right now, uh, here's a travel tip for today. Okay, so when you're walking around, always bring a nice little day bag. For me, it's this standard chartered drawstring bag uh, from the marathon like three, four years ago when I was fitter. <laughs> and always bring around a personal water bottle just in case. You have to go for long walks and you can't find a store with drinks that you can trust or something. You know you are covered. Travel tip for today. Okay guys, climb the stairs again for the overhead bridge. I hope no one was staring. <laughs> well, I may be in over myself. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm a retarded traveler. <sighs> Let's hope I get a find a nice cab or tuk-tuk to take me to Khao San. Ciao. Okay, one mofaka try to quote me 1,000 baht for a tuk-tuk ride to Khao San. So I'm gonna try taking the BTS to somewhere closer before taking a tuk-tuk or cab. Anyway, a tip about BTS, not tip actually, uh, something interesting is that um, I think at Siam Station or Siam, around 6 p.m. I think they'll play an anthem and everybody gets off board their trains, don't care to stop. They just get off and just stand still, stand at attention to respect and love for the king of Thailand. Okay, so apparently just now, there, earlier there was a technical problem or something. The train was delayed, stalling behind me. Uh, but lucky I'm a tourist, I have time to spare so I can patiently wait. And in the meantime, check out this pretty cute celebrity or something, I don't know, model. Looks really quite hot. <laughs> There, who is this woman? She looks really good. I gotta say, making my wait for the train worth it. Okay, I'm just damn creepy right now. Bye.
Wow guys, that was pretty wild but very fun. 100 baht. Cheap, fun, wild. But quite tiring. I mean, my legs now are shaking. But we're finally in Khao San Market. Uh, I'm just gonna walk around and explore, yeah. Hey guys, just done with lunch. Uh, I'll be back here again later for the fabulous dessert cafe for obviously some desserts. Uh, it was really nice. Uh, they didn't want to film inside because it was so awkward, but it was really nice. I only hope they gave more crab though. Uh. This bar at the back looks like the one Running Man played their games in when they came to Thailand. I think it is. So, the massage was good, very relaxing quite needed, especially after standing so long on the train earlier. And now I'm randomly walking around trying to find my way back to the dessert. Okay, I ordered the chocolate lava cake. Let's hope it's good. Okay guys, I realized the footage was very awkward. And it is because it's quite quiet and there's very nice like jazzy music. And I'm talking to myself in one corner. Shit. <laughs> anyway, I hope the cake comes soon. Uh, it looks really good. I cannot resist a good lava cake after all. Oh my gosh guys, it's here. Take a look. The lava cakes are pretty small though, but it smells great! Alright guys, this is probably the most satisfying experience of eating lava cake. Let's see... The chocolate! Ooh, yeah! Alright, I'm gonna finish this off. It's not gonna be pretty. Alright guys, a little bit of everything in one mouth. Mmm! Oh god! Oh my god! Yes. Okay, earlier on I said the cake seemed a little small. I take that back. These guys nailed it. The serving size is just right for one person to eat. One fat pig like me to eat. Um, it doesn't give you too much such that you get sick of the dish, but it doesn't give you too little that you think you want even more. So it's just nice. I'm full and very, very satisfied. Oh, and by the way, just between us, I think the staff, that girl, was really quite cute and she really made the experience even better than what it probably is. <laughs> like, she's really very cute and humble, shy, but when she served me the dish, she said, please enjoy. Oh, I will enjoy it and I did. Thank you very much. What did I tell you guys? Not gonna be pretty, but pretty damn delicious, man. Oh my god. Okay guys, now I'm trying to find some sightseeing stuff. So there's some October 14 monument and later I'll take you through to the Democracy Monument. We passed by that early on a bike but my footage was uh, screwed up so I'm gonna try to reach these places and take some panoramic-esque shots. Okay. 
Okay, change of plans with regards to the October 14 memorial thing. I'll take you guys straight to the Democracy Monument because I think I found it, but I saw like some rifles hanging on the wall and I'm like, nah, maybe I shouldn't be there. At, at least or not on my own, you know, so I'm out of that place and finding the Democracy Monument. It's great guys, the footage sucks and the traffic sucks even more. I'm just gonna try to find my way to Chinatown now by foot. Yes, that's right, I'm gonna walk there. The initial plan was for me to take a boat but, you know, screw it, I got time. I shall walk to Chinatown and have some awesome two-part dinner. Dinner part one in Chinatown and part two is gonna be a different street side stall. It's gonna be the best Pad Thai in Thailand or in Bangkok at least. So stick around for that. When you begin to doubt where you're going, it's always a good idea to backtrack to a familiar location. <laughs> anyway guys, I know I sold out earlier on the lunch. I ate at a restaurant and a cafe. That's why now I'm trying to make up for it by heading to Chinatown first and eat some street food for dinner. And hopefully after that, I'll be able to find the street side best Pad Thai, Pad Thai in Bangkok. Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm lost. <laughs> now I'm just trying to find the next big monument that I can find. The good thing is I'm seeing quite a few like temples, so hopefully I can realign myself. How lost am I that now I'm like walking beside the Ministry of Defense or at least something like that. <laughs> anyway, if the street map and my brain is correct, I might be able to reach the Pad Thai place first. So I may head there and eat that as dinner round one. And then after that, find damn Chinatown um, and go for round two in Chinatown. Okay, so... Good luck to me. I am determined to find my delicious street food. And I hope you are too. Rah! Bamrung Moang Road. I've been looking for you for days, man. Yes! Shit, man, guys. That Rolex building thing looks so damn familiar. I think it was this place where I made the wrong turn that made me walk one big round. Shit! <laughs> Such is life guys. One wrong turn and you could end up walking one big round. But it's okay guys, what's important is to find the right route, pick yourself back up and stay positive. When you come here, you gotta have the part time. I got the super part time, and you must try their orange juice. It is delicious and very fresh. Delicious, the best meal I've had so far in Bangkok. And now for reals, it's time to head to Chinatown for reals. Yawarat Road or Tanon Yawarat. It's supposedly Chinatown, this entire stretch. So we have finally made it. Now I just need to reach the end to find the correct place where I want to get my crab fried rice. <sighs> Just 
真的觉得觉得有点羞耻，讲不到好的华文呢、啊，华语。It's beginning to look a lot like Chinatown. Or am I mind fucking myself? Damn, damn, damn! I'll be there someday. I will go the distance for Pang Xie Chao Fan. I will face it all. This is definitely Chinatown. <laughs> yes, guys, it's coming. Okay, guys, thoughts on Lake and Rat Seafood. I didn't finish it because it was very filling. I was stuffed by then. Uh, and honestly, the crab fried rice had was a hit and miss. The crab pieces inside were delicious, very good, very generous. But uh, the fried rice, the egg fried rice, the base was pretty bland. The best egg fried rice, I, fri, fri, egg fried rice I've had was from Din Din Tai Fung. And this uh, is, is no match for that, okay? And something that annoys me is a personal thing is that like the crab always has this like thing. It's kind of like the bone of the crab, you know? And these kind of things annoy me, especially in dishes like fried rice where I expect to be able to gobble down everything. Then uh, what other things did I eat? I ate the scallops with minced pork. That was good. That was tasty. Uh, and the last thing I bought was coconut. The coconut was average. So overall, I think the experience was like a, a very harsh 3.5 out of 5 if I must rate it. Uh, but it's a place that I would suggest you come with your friends. It's more of like a zi cha style. You buy plain white rice. Somebody overcooked the fried rice. <laughs> anyway, I was saying it's a place where you should bring your friends, order white rice and a few dishes. Like, for example, the prawns, they were so big and they looked so good, but I obviously couldn't eat it myself. Uh, you can buy the crab on its own, you can buy the scallops like I did, you can buy vegetables like kangkong. Yeah, I think that would make a very good zi cha rather than a solo meal like what I had. And uh, crab fried rice, yeah, a little disappointed in it. But anyway, I'm leaving Chinatown, uh, going back to just walk around some more before I rest for the day. Uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this journey. Let's see this out together. Okay hey guys, uh, this is my legit panorama shot with my selfie stick! So, let's go! Poof. Enjoy that guys! It's time to head back! Poof. It's been a tiring day guys, back in the lift, going back to the apartment. I'll see you back in the room. Okay guys, now I seriously have no idea what to do with the cat. It's making itself comfortable on my lap. <laughs> and mosquitoes are like biting my leg already. <laughs> what to do guys? I'm not good with animals. Uh, ooh. Okay, anyway, before I got distracted by the cat, I managed to walk around and recce the area a little bit more and I'm very happy to say that I managed to find some of the night spots that I intended to check out over the course of this trip. What's a Bangkok trip without a drop of beer, right? So hopefully tomorrow we will get to go and check out at least one of the, these spots uh, and we will share our first drop of beer together.
I'm really very excited to take you guys on the journey because I am also very excited to see what these places are all about. Give them the benefit of the doubt first, okay? Uh, they may be sleazy areas, but it's what you do that defines you. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think I got a drinking game for you. Observe my travelog videos. And you will see that as I bring you along on my journey, walking along the streets of Bangkok, I tend to touch my face a lot while I'm talking. That actually means that people are approaching and I look really awkward. So I like try to hide it by touching my face, adjusting something like pushing up my specs, something like that, a little click that I have. So next time, if you want to play a drinking game in the next video, observe every time I touch my face, while talking to you guys, take a shot or just take a sip of beer or something. Also, if that's not enough, uh, you can count the number of times I begin or I say with Hey guys, or so guys, or okay guys. Because <laughs> I realize looking back at today's clips, I say that almost all the time. Like as if it's a new video starting and that's maybe something that I should improve on. And of course, talking about videos as a whole, I apologize for poor footage, you know, uh, shaky cam and all. Uh, I'm not the best videographer. And of course, um, as much as I would like to put in those very nice classic travelog style videos where I show you very nice footages of, move, of movement, of traffic and stuff like that while music plays in the background, some electronic music, some house music. Uh, that may not be possible considering the footages that I got. So uh, my style would probably be a lot of me talking with you guys and sharing my thoughts along the way. Like uh, how you guys spent your time together with me walking throughout the Bangkok today. Uh, I appreciate it if you stuck out this far following me on my journey. And now we're finally back home again. Uh, it's really nice of you to enjoy the meals together with me as well. Uh, hopefully these footages make you want to come and see Bangkok yourself. Nothing beats you coming here and experiencing it yourself. Like how I don't want to live Bangkok by looking through my, you know, my viewfinder or my screen or whatever it may be, right? I want to see it for myself also. That's why sometimes I get a little bit lazy. I don't record that much. Plus the fact that I'm still really awkward. And if you notice, right, I get quite annoyed at myself now because I have these very deadpan eyes. So I may be saying like happy things and uh, sounding a little bit livelier. I may be trying to express some happiness, but my eyes are like a dead fish or something. <laughs> Not just because I'm an Asian, you know, that I have little slit eyes, <laughs> ching chong, ling long. But yeah, I genuinely look quite dead and trust me, that's not what I mean. Uh, I really am very happy for all the experiences I've had so far. It's tiring but fulfilling. I managed to do uh, the things that I wanted to do today, which is eat all the really good stuff that I ate. So, so far, the meals haven't been really disappointing, except the fried rice, just a little bit. But that's me being harsh. Uh, I still want you guys to come on out to Bangkok and see all these things yourself. So many things to see here, so many cultures to experience because Everyone here, you know, 50% at least of the people you meet are like tourists and it's cool to just soak in the sights and sounds. So once again, thank you for sticking around for day one of Bangkok Travelogue and I'll see you again tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video again. Give me a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy these. And stick around for day two, coming in really soon, I promise. See ya and peace.